Okay. Um, let's start already presentation. Now tell me please if you can see my presentation. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, so welcome to the Moscow School of Economics of Lomonosov Moscow State University. Moscow School of Economics is a regular faculty uh, in the same way as any other faculty of Moscow State University. And our, we have a very uh, separate building that is located near to this uh, very beautiful building. Uh, the bu building that you see on your screen now is a very old building. It was built during Stalin era, if you know, we had a Stalin in uh, Soviet Union and during his period, this building in 1960s was built and opened for the students. And these days, in this be beautiful building, our dormitory for students is located. So imagine that if you get admission, and hopefully from September, our government will open the borders. We all hope for this. So if you travel to Moscow, you will be living in this building where the Moscow State University is located. Moscow State University is located in the city center. Uh, Moscow is very large and a city center is not something very small, but it's also large understanding and uh, state university is located nearby the metro station we have two metro stations actually campus is very large very large it's a very green area we have many gardens we have sport facilities uh, like uh, like for saucer uh, for sport for fitness uh, for swimming we have pools and uh, we have gardens very beautiful area and there are two metro stations from one side and from the other side and uh, the one is very near to our building just seven minutes walking distance. And within this uh, walking distance, you will uh, get to the city center in five, uh, five minutes, very fast. Uh, you will get to uh, city center, exactly to the Kremlin. This, this is what I mean. And uh, you will have your uh, walk, nice walk around the city. Moscow in general is a very beautiful city. And Moscow State University is top rated university in Russia. By studying uh, in Moscow State University and graduating in Moscow State University, you will get a diploma that will be recognized worldwide in every country. Everybody knows our university. So let's go on with the program details, yes. And also a couple of words about our faculty. We have a very prominent faculty. And uh, our regular faculty consists of academicians that is top ra uh, rated scientific uh, position, yes, academicians. Our dean is also academician, Nikki Pelov, and uh, we have academicians uh, among our teaching professors. And uh, we invite for the English language program, especially we invite people from business. People who are working in business as a CEO, chief executive uh, officers, or as a chief financial officers, or the owners of the business. These people are actually very, um, how to say, developed, very professional, and they are very willing to share with students their knowledge and skills. And we have also faculty who was educated abroad, like me. I, I was also getting my education in the United States uh, of America. And uh, we are back to Russia and we teach uh, our students together with the people from the business. Yes. So this is a couple of words about um, our faculty in general. Now, about the program. Uh, we have two master degree programs. The name of one is uh, Master of Economics and Finance. This is dual degree program together with the University of Primorska. And the name of second one is Global Economics and Finance. And this program is um, uh, offering Moscow State University diploma and it's offering training for chartered financial analysts 
qualification. And within this program, you can participate in any exchange program that is offered by the Lomonos of Moscow State University. And starting from this year, we are enlarging our partnership uh, with other universities and our students uh, are free to participate in the competition and get a position or for exchange or one semester exchange. So uh, one of the most important characteristics of the program is that the education completely in English. Also, the environment is very international because we invite students from different countries to study. And so far, we had students from USA, Germany, Spain, Japan, Iran, India, Switzerland, Turkey, Russia, Serbia, Slovenia, Armenia, Uzbekistan, Switzerland, even Switzerland, yes, Azerbaijan. And um, I should mention that uh, our graduates are quite successful in their career. So what are the admission conditions? Uh, for the admission, you need to pass English language test and economics in English. In case if you have uh, international certificate, such as TOEFL, IELTS, BEC, that is Cambridge test, you are very welcome to present your uh, certificate and we will accept the results. And in case if you have GRE or GMAT, we will uh, accept it instead of economics test. So send us the results or send our code to the center and we will get your result online immediately. And we will be very happy to consider your result instead of admission exam. If you do not have uh, these tests, then you are very welcome to participate on our online test that will help first wave at the end of June and second wave at the end of July, okay? We do not have yet the exact dates, otherwise I would let you know. Starting from the 1st of June, uh, our Ministry of Education will confirm several requirements and then we will announce exact days of the exam. So I really advise you to stay in touch with me or with To and we'll give you immediate information as soon as the dates will be known. Now about the documents, something which is very important. The acceptance of the documents will be online through webanketa msu.room and uh, this uh, system will have uh, will be bilingual in Russian and in English uh, this year, and you will have no difficulties actually to submit your application. But whenever you have difficulty, you can contact me, no problem, and I will advise. So what you need to submit? You need to submit your passport. You need to submit your diploma. You need to submit your diploma supplement. The scan of these documents, we understand the scan of these documents, and translation of these documents. Translation to be done by the notary certified translator, which means by the licensed translator. And uh, this, uh, how it will be confirmed, usually the notary, uh, in every country it has some differences. Uh, so, but in general, it sounds like this that the notary confirms that the translator is licensed translator and uh, we accept these translations. So the documents issued by different countries might have different requirements. Please pay attention. Some countries uh, require uh, legalization by the consulate of Russian Federation. For example, if you have been graduated in, India, in Saudi Arabia, sorry, in Saudi Arabia, then the consulate of Russian Federation should confirm translation of your document and translation of your passport and translation of your diploma and supplement. This is just an example. In case if you have been graduated in the um, United States of America, your uh, diploma and diploma supplement should have uh, apostille, so-called apostille. And only after that, you take it to the translator. So the translator translates it into Russian language. Uh, 
the translation of the documents can be done either in your country or can be done in Russia. You can uh, basically search uh, some translation agencies in Russia that accept online uh, your documents, some of your documents, and they translate and uh, they bring us originals of the translations. And uh, you can get also scans of the translations online uh, because we do not require from you originals of your documents, but rather they should be translated. And uh, after admission during the year, you will have a time to present us your original documents. Uh, you can bring it to, uh, together with you to the country, or you can send it by the courier post. It depends on you. Yeah. Together with the translation of the documents, um, diploma, diploma supplement, passport, you need to present six photos. Actually, because this is a digital version, uh, even one photo, to my opinion, will be enough. Uh, however, it will be all in the web system, you will see. And uh, while you will be uploading your documents to the system, the application form will be completed by you step by step. So, and we ask you also to include CV and motivation letter. In case if you have uh, passed GRE GMAT, then you include also certificate when you uh, upload your documents online to the web antenna. So, uh, so far about this one, if you have any question, please write down now, write down and you will ask me after my presentation these questions, okay? Yes, and the opening day, something very important, the opening day for admission of the online document is 15 of June. And we will be continuing to accept your applications and your documents till 20 of July. Okay, so it's something uh, around the month, a month period. Please pay attention that translation of the documents will take around three, five days. I'm telling you about Russian translation uh, companies, yes? So they take around uh, three, five days. Mm, and uh, apostilization or legalization of the document might take another three, five days. Translation you do after apostille. Okay, keep in mind. So this is about documents admission exam. Now, about uh, exactly Master of Science in Global Economics and Finance. So this program is very advanced program. We always update this program, uh, update with new uh, courses, update the courses of the program in order to satisfy needs of the uh, companies. Because we understand that you make investment into your long, uh, knowledge, into your skills, in order to get a good job afterwards and we understand that our students are international and their knowledge should satisfy international job market requirements so um, we always keep uh, in mind these requirements and we always in touch with chartered uh, financial analyst program curriculum and we update and we simulate our students so that they pass the exam in order they feel themselves more confident at the interview so uh, who can apply for the program? Who can study? You do not need to have economics background. If you have a, a background in mathematics, if you are engineer, if you want, uh, if you dream to become financier and economist, then you are very welcome to come to our program. How the program is structured? First semester is devoted to some repetition of the material that you have been studying during your bachelor degree, or you have missed something. For example, those uh, of you who have been studying for mathematics definitely will be very skilled and knowledgeable in uh, statistics, in econometrics. But we will ask you to repeat once again uh, with the whole group in order you understand what we want you to know about finance, about economics and statistics, yes? So uh, those of you who have been studying uh, economics before, who have background in economics, definitely will be very good in uh, microeconomics, in macroeconomics, 
However, we will be asking you to refresh your knowledge in applied macroeconomics, in applied microeconomics, so that uh, you be on the same floor with the others. Yes, with the other students. And starting from the second semester, you will be doing already very professional courses, such as asset management on the global market, alternative investments, fixed income and derivatives. Uh, so uh, uh, a bit more about the program. So the, the program is two years, something that I might have missed. The program is two years. The form of education is full time. Usually we uh, schedule our classes in the second half of day to enable our students to uh, work or to have an internship and to study. Uh, we do not recommend our students to work during the first semester because first semester is always very difficult. Even if you repeat the courses still, it is very difficult to get into track. So to start, that's why first semester we ask our students to devote to their education. And um, already from the second semester, you we encourage you to start your internship. And we uh, make meetings with the employees, uh, with the company, so that you get internship positions or work positions. So the program is tuition based. We do not have grants, unfortunately. We do not have grant possibilities. Start of education is in September. Usually, we all start from the first of September, but because of visa problems, sometimes we have to start for one week later so that the students all come together. Uh, but as a matter of discipline, I ask you to keep in mind that we start our education from 1st of September. And uh, here you can see also my uh, contacts. Your qualification at the end will be Master of Science in Economics, Master in Economics, yes. Uh, so you will be economist with the specialization in international economics and finance. So this is about this. Who will be teaching you? As I told you, our professors, our uh, faculty is highly qualified people who come from uh, different countries as well. We ask uh, our uh, faculty also to share with you their practical skills, their experience. They are uh, Chief financial officers, CEOs, uh, and also regular academicians, yes, uh, regular faculty. It depends basically on the course. For example, if you study econometrics, then you will be teached, your uh, professor will be our regular faculty who is doing his research, who is studying regularly in our faculty. Uh, because econometrics and statistics are quite uh, theoretical, but you will do uh, applied part, yes? So you will have a lot of practice in econometrics, and we use EVUs or R, R software. And, uh, but for the courses such as financial analysis, for the courses such as corporate finance, asset management, we invite professors uh, we invite uh, actual professors from the business. These are people who are doing this in their regular job on, day, day, on, on the daily basis. And they share with you their skills and experience. Yeah. So um, here are some courses that you can see uh, that you will be studying. So we can divide them into three main blocks or four main blocks. Courses in finance, that is investment project evaluation, financial modeling and forecasting, strategic management in multinational companies, corporate finance, financial accounting and reporting. And I should say that we pay a lot of attention to financial accounting and reporting. And uh, courses, basic courses in economics, microeconomics, macroeconomics, applied international macroeconomics, courses in investment banking, strategic asset management, asset pricing, mergers acquisitions, alternative investments, and courses in quantitative finance. And we pay a lot of attention to the courses in quantitative analysis 
starting from the first semester, you will do statistics, apply statistics, and you will end up with econometrics, applied econometrics, and definitely we pay a lot of attention to the research because at the end of the education, you need to write your master's thesis, your, you need to write your master's dissertation, and it should include econometric uh, model, which is data analysis. Some people call it big data analysis, some people simply call it data analysis, but you need to do your own model in some topic of research. You need to present your ability to make a, a in, independent research and uh, we pay attention to this. Definitely. So, so a bit of, about results. Uh, a lot of students from our program uh, successfully pass CFA level one after the first year of education. But we recommend them to do it also during the second year, right? Because they accumulate more knowledge. Uh, they active in participation in international seminars, conferences, uh, battles, challenges, and we always encourage them to do it. And our students have high level of employability and five uh, very fast professional growth. Some of our students who were graduated around 10 years ago now come back to us uh, as a successful business representatives and they also share with our students their uh, skills, their knowledge, and they try to make their, uh, uh, to input their value into the courses. So some of the, um, testimonials you can see on your screen. This is a testimonial from Alex Slick from Spain. His background was in Suffolk University, Boston, then St. Louis, uh, Leonard Belter from Germany. His background was in Munich Technical University. He was an engineer. And at the same time, he had presented himself as a very active and successful student. He participated in various conferences and uh, so on. Lydia Hajibayeva, she is now working in Russia in American Tobacco Company, and she has a very good career. Very happy. Sarli Shefo, Jan. Uh, Jackie, young Jackie, he's uh, doing his CFA level two and financial risk management uh, professional qualification, and we are very proud of him. His success. Uh, Gunner uh, Lane Hardy, he's from USA, and so on. So, once again, about admission requirements, and uh, I'm your main contact person. Also, in case if you have wish to talk with, uh, with us in Chinese, you are very welcome to apply to Do. He is here and he will write his email also in the chat. So never, uh, never feel confused. Please apply to us in case if you have additional questions. And now I will tell you about our dual degree program, which is also in English. This program name is Economics and Finance. We do it in cooperation with the Slovenian University, University of Primorska. This university is located on the seaside uh, in the very nice ancient city of Koper. And you can see on the picture, uh, actually, the uh, photo of the city in Koper. And uh, here, our students pass first year. Uh, they study with the program that is established by the Moscow State University and basically uh, students will be admitted to the branch, to the Moscow State University branch in Slovenia and will be, uh, uh, be studying with the M M our program, first year program there. Uh, I should say that this uh, program was established on a very high level uh, with the signature of our director, Dr. Uh, Sardovici, and director of the University of Primorska. And uh, we have established branch there, and we are the only university in Russia that has a branch abroad. And our branch is um, branches abroad, and our one branch is in Slovenia. So shortly about this program, this program passport. So this is a two years program 
full-time program, full education in English. First year you spend in Slovenia in University of Primorska in our branch, yes, and second year you spend in uh, Moscow State University uh, faculty, Moscow School of Economics. This program is tuition based. We do not have grants or scholarships for this program as well. Start of education is September. Uh, basically, you start with September, you orient on September, and practically your classes might start from October. Our partner university will inform you, will stay in touch with you and inform you. So at the end of the education, you will get your first degree in uh, from the Moscow State University and your second degree from the University of Primorska in economics. Uh, what you need for admission to this exam, you need again to pass English language test, the same as for the previous program, and you need to pass economics. And again, you can present a certificate instead of exams, but please pay attention. In case if your background, your first education is not economics, you need to pass additional exam here. And this is our partner's requirement. This is our uh, Slovenian university requirement. And this will be uh, interview based oral examination with the admission commission from Slovenia. That will be organized online. So don't worry, you do not need to travel for this reason. Uh, they will meet you online in Zoom or in Teams. And they will ask you several questions, but this is only for those students who didn't study economics at the first year. Okay, so why this program is actually good might be good for you because this is a combination of best teaching methods and education facilities from both universities, and it is represented in our branch in Europe in Slovenia. And you simultaneously get enrolled into your two universities and become a uh, student of both universities. At the end, you again defend your uh, dissertation. Um, something which is really very good, it's a favorable geographical location of University of Primorska that attracts students from Russia, Slovenia, and also from neighboring European countries. Also, there are some internship possibilities in European uh, companies. And here you can see um, you can see uh, uh, some courses that you will be studying uh, during uh, your education. That is microeconomics, macroeconomics, econometrics, accounts, taxation, uh, financial institution activity regulation, risk, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and here are some. Uh, testimonials from our graduates, Barbara Schwaga from Slovenia. Uh, her first background was languages, English language. So, so she was philologist and uh, uh, she studied very hard and she was very successful. Uh, so she studied second year here in Moscow and you can see she uh, has a beautiful picture in Moscow. And our second graduate, Gashka Popit, uh, also you can see a very beautiful photo with the background of Kremlin. Uh, his background was economics. He was having economics before. So, um, Michael and again, uh, similar requirements for the admission and the documents and we accept documents online. So again, I'm your contact for the admission. So now I, I have finished our uh, presentation part, and I will be very happy to answer your questions. If you have any question, please let me know, because definitely I have missed something that is important for you, and I will be very happy to answer. Well, I'm sorry, I just wanted to ask you, you said for the first program there are no grants. Uh, does it mean that there, there will be no budget, so-called students? Uh, yes, uh, yes, unfortunately, we do not have budget places. This is all tuition-based. 
Yes. And tuition, uh, thank you very much for your question. Basically, I didn't uh, nominate the tuition. The tuition will be uh, remaining the same as previous year, that is uh, 460,000 rubles per year. That is uh, for Master of Science in Global Economics and Finance. Uh, tuition fee is paid in two parts during first semester and second semester, 230,000 first semester, 230,000 second semester. And for the dual degree program, um, uh, the price is higher, that is 7,000 euros. And then you translate it into the rubles and it will be something like 570 or 90,000 uh, rubles per year. Yes, okay, we do not you. have budget places in there. No, we do not have budget places. Any other questions, dear students? Is uh, Venice? Когда у нас будет экзамен по экономике и по английскому кому языке? Uh, dear Van Shuibao, can you please repeat your question? Uh, oh. I didn't get that yet. Da. Kada vunas budget uh, exam pa economiki i pa angris kamu iziki? Yeah, it will be first wave, it will be end of June and second end of July. Dates are not known. Oh. Examining. Будут в конце июня и в конце июля. Пока даты не известны. После 1 июня даты будут известны. Uh, now I have a question from Nikish Dubey. Nikish Dubey. Uh, Nikish, I will answer here if you don't mind. So uh, uh, Nitish is interested, and I think everybody is interested to know, does the university facilitate its students for final placement in the second year? So starting from this year, we started regularly meetings with the companies. I mean, uh, companies uh, attend meetings, and they help our students to find out positions and to draft their resume, to pass interviews. They explain about the positions, vacancies, uh, so that students well, get well prepared for the interviews. And basically we can say that yes, university in this case tries to facilitate placement, uh, which means that uh, university does not place the student in the company but they do everything so that students get internship or students uh, get a place by passing successfully interview or preparing a professional resume and preparing motivation letters. Any other questions? Uh, but basically another professional career day will be very soon on 26, 27 of May. And uh, so, um, uh, now another a second question I got here. Mustan Serral is asking me if there is a confirmed date of entrance exam for economics. Uh, dear Mustan, unfortunately, we do not have yet the exact date. I ask you please to reserve the last week or last 10 days of June and last 10 days of July uh, for the exam period now. Starting from 1st of June, we will know exact exam day. Unfortunately, none of you in the Moscow State University can answer to this question now because we are all on hold and we are waiting for the uh, orders from our rector, from our university top management in order to set up the exact exam date. However, I will repeat once again, in case if you have GRE or GMAT, uh, you can send it to me. Uh, we will accept it as an exam instead of exam, okay? So in such a case, uh, you will not need to wait for the exact exam date. I have another question. Sure, welcome. Uh, 
So did I get it right that we have to, the main criteria for getting involved into that program is to, to have a language exam, first of all, and then a vision exam, which is the MSU's one. Yes, uh, look, uh, if I understand right your question, you are asking, uh, can you please repeat, basically? <laughs> because I, Yeah, yeah, like, uh, are there just two main criteria for getting enrolled to the program? The language exam and the, the admission exam. Yes, exactly. Language exam and economics. And okay. we have all the questions online. They are not difficult. You can uh, even now start preparing for these questions. They cover basic knowledge of economics. And we follow main field. And uh, the exam, admission exam is multiple choice question. Uh, I cannot say that it's uh, easy. It's easy for those who are prepared. If you prepare, then it will be very easy. Okay, okay thank you. Okay. Write to me. I will send you link to the web page where you will see all the re requirements. Okay, uh, to prepare well. Dear students, other questions, please. Maybe uh, you are shy to ask me questions. You can ask. Questions to Tho. Tho is a student, second year student. At the same time, he is working with us now uh, in our department. Uh, but he can honestly tell you about the study process, about difficulties, and about the challenges. And uh, you can ask him questions directly. Don't be shy, please. Uh, excuse me. Please. Welcome. Uh, so if I go to this department, first is I must go to Slovenia, yes? In case if you want to study for dual degree, then yes. In case if you want to study for a CFA program, then you study in Moscow and you have opportunity to go for one semester abroad. Thank you. Some questions uh, from the you can, you can apply, By the way, you can apply to both programs, uh, and then you select. So, but never mind. Yes, Tho, you got questions, yes? Yes, yes. Actually, we have several, uh, several applications uh, with uh, also interesting in our English master program, but also in our Russian. Uh, master program. Mm -hmm. uh, is it possible to apply both of the two? Mm, program in our faculty. Yes, you can apply to Russian language master degree programs and study in Russian language. Uh, we will have a separate day for uh, open day for those programs, and you uh, you will check it online. I think it will be on 30 of May, if I'm not mistaken. But it will it's not yet fixed. Uh, however, I can uh, tell you a couple of words if you are interested. Uh, the exam dates will be the same, similar. Mm -hmm. and you can apply uh, also to Russian language master programs, and then you can select where you want to go. Yes. So. Uh, and uh, uh, for the application for the application in our faculty, uh, it's possible to apply two programs. Uh, yes. Uh, so yes. One is Russian. Russian program and the other is the English master. Program. Yes, yes, you it's can possible. apply. Yes, but the exams will be different. Uh, yes, I know. Pay attention that exams for Russian language master programs are different. Exams for English language master programs are different because uh, yes, the programs uh, are different. Okay, and how about the two English program? Mm, of course, we have the program uh, in. For two years, uh, all in Moscow, and the other program will be one year in Slovenia, yeah. and the other one in Moscow. Yeah. And uh, it's it is possible for the applicants to apply the two programs together. Yes, and, they can apply two programs together, but for Slovenian program, they will have one more additional exam. Okay. So, uh, 
only two exams will not be sufficient. They and uh, and the uh, exam, uh, the exam for the two English master program in Moscow is the same exam. Yes. Same. Yes. Same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 大家有其他的问题也可以 uh, uh, So uh, Zhao Yize is asking me how many rounds are in the exam. Uh, so we have two rounds. One is end of June and second is end of July. And uh, you just sit for, you just select when you want to come in June or in July. And one day you will have Test in economics and second day you will have test in English. So no any other round. That will be just one round, yes? One day exam. Is it clear, dear Zhaoiza? Okay, perfect. Other questions, dear students? Some of you have wrote to my email uh, during these last two days. I'm very sorry I wasn't able to answer your questions, but from today uh, I will answer to all my emails and I will answer to your emails as well because I see names of those uh, applicants who actually also wrote uh, to my email. I will answer to your emails today. Okay, don't please don't get upset about this. This is just shortage of time. As a question, dear students. And also my email here, I will write to you in my WhatsApp. This is my email and my WhatsApp. So always very welcome to write me. Okay. Don't you have any other questions about application? Maybe you want to know if you need to, what kind of legalization you need to do with your documents. Then I would be happy to answer your questions. Uh, Wesley Shirola, are you here? Where are you from? I'm from the United States. Yes, I'm here. Okay, then in such a case, uh, you need to do apostille. You need to okay. do apostille on your diploma. When do you expect to receive your diploma? Um, June 15th or June 14th. Excellent. Uh, you have plenty of time. Basically, as soon as you get your diploma, just without hesitation, take it for the apostille. Because I also did my documents. Uh, basically, I was in Russia already when I got... I, when I learned that I need to do this and I had to hire in, in a lawyer uh, in the United States who did all my job. But when you are there, you can apply either to your university and they will help you. Or okay. you just simply check your state. Uh, every state has its own regulations who should stamp your diploma and just get a stamp this stamp. Uh, what does it mean, this legalization, basically, uh, so that you do not afraid? Basically, this stamp, they stamp your uh, diploma uh, or copy of your diploma, and that confirms that the person who signed your diploma is, is a well-known person, and they confirm the signature. And mm -hmm. after that, you can translate your documents. You can uh, check the translation agencies in Moscow. Uh, I guess they are cheaper than in the United States, or you can check United States agencies and translate your document in Russian. It will take another three, five days. And if you write me, I will send you also some links to translation agencies that you can check um, compared to prices. Uh, because we work with the scans of the documents, you do not send to anyone the originals, just scans. The original documents will remain with you, okay? Great. But we Thank need you. the two versions of scans. Thank you. All right, welcome. So, as per, uh, I got a question from Muskan Serral. As per the ongoing pandemic, our final semester exams are postponed, which are likely to be held in June, and we will get our results by July. Can I apply before that? Yes. 
definitely this can be the case and we all understand that our students might have difficulties with their documents. So in case if your diploma uh, uh, is not ready, you can get a certificate from your study department confirming that you are graduate, that you will be graduating by this date and that your diploma will be ready by this date. Why is it important? Because it is very important that you submit your application online and we get it in time. So, but you can bring your documents additionally, additionally after the application date, after the system will be closed, in case if your application already in the system, okay? So that's why I ask you please, transcript you can get anytime. So with transcript, you will not have problems or with the uh, diploma supplement, but uh, diploma might be issued later because of pandemic, because of the regulations of uh, the university, this happens. So you ask your study department, issue certificate that you will be graduated. Translate this certificate into Russian language and submit it instead of your diploma. And when your diploma will be ready, already without stress, you will submit your diploma, okay? But still you do not need to wait too long. Just do it as soon as you get it, okay? So this is about uh, the question of late diploma, late documents. So don't uh, hesitate to apply, just do it. And uh, another question from uh, Nitish, is my five years of work experience going to make a difference? Yes, definitely. Uh, when we have a competition on the place uh, for one place competition, we consider everything. We consider your motivation letter. We consider your working experience. Uh, however, we cannot uh, make a discount uh, for your tuition fee just because you have a working experience, yes. Neither we can give you a discount for the admission grade. But in case if you have the same grade as someone who is without a working experience, then your uh, you have a preference. Uh, so then- uh, I got that. Yes, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you, Nikish. And uh, send me your CV if you didn't do it uh, already. Please send it. Uh, send me your CV. I I, I have sent you an email. All right. Uh, so email. sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no worries. I will. Uh, you know, keep in touch with you. Okay. Well, excuse me. Will be another question. Will be there a situation where the first batch of exams is full, or there are too few places left for the second batch? No, we do competition at the end. This is a very good question. Please pay attention. Uh, we do exam end of Ju June and end of July, but we do not um, uh, issue the admission order till the end. So you know your results right the next day or at the same day, you will know the result of your exam. You will know if you have passing rate or no, but exactly, if you are admitted or no, you will know at the end of the exam period, that is end of July, okay? Not before, not before, but uh, basically you will know already if you have passing grade, if you have high, high uh, place on the pa uh, uh, pass list, then you will know. That will be indicator for you. And usually, I will tell you one more thing. Usually, at the end of August, uh, when there are still places remaining, uh, uh, we open new competition for those who want it but were not able because of the documents or late information or whatever, and they come in August. But I do not have information for this year, for this August. But I promise you that there will not be any situation like a lack of places after the end of June. So we all wait end of July and then the competition works, okay? So uh, don't worry about that. You apply.
you sign your documents, you file, you dare, you do your thing, and then let it go. Okay. Any other questions, dear students? If I can help you, and please do not hesitate to write me if you have questions. Also during the documents preparation period, if you want to send me to check if everything is okay, if you are worrying about the exams, what you need to prepare and stuff like that, please don't worry, send me email and use WhatsApp for urgent questions, short urgent issues, for example, if something you need to show me, uh, ask me if it is okay or not, just send me my WhatsApp. If you have longer question, like how to prepare to this or that question, then send me email so that you check your email regularly and have it in your email, my answers as well, okay? Any other questions? So in, in, um, what are admission requirements? So admission requirements, uh, uh, admission requirements uh, for admission, you need to pass English test and you need to pass economics test. All the requirements are on the website. Contact me and I will send you exact links where you can find materials how to prepare for the English test and how to prepare for the uh, economics. This is first. Second thing that uh, for the admission, you need to prepare a package of documents. That is translation of your passport, translation of your diploma, translation of your transcript or supplement to diploma and uh, your photo, digital photo, and uh, CV and uh, motivation letter. Uh, also, my WhatsApp number, so class seven. Okay. So this is uh, my uh, WhatsApp number. Uh, do we need to be good in Russian if you are coming there? Well, uh, you do not need to be good in Russian to study at master level program because all, absolutely all your classes will be in English. You will have some interfaculty courses in Russian. You are very welcome to attend. Uh, in the shops, uh, in the streets, most of the young people are speaking English. In the shops, uh, they will understand you or still some words you need to learn. So you do not need to be professional in Russian, but it's highly encouraging you learn Russian because uh, it's a unique experience when you travel the country. I can say you my own experience because I have been living in many countries. Uh, so when I was a student, uh, I enjoyed this possibility. And every country definitely uh, you will feel more comfortable when you understand local language. And for even in the restaurant, when you can order your dish uh, or your drink in local language, it always helps you. Uh, so. But other than that, in the airport, in the street, you can always find someone who will speak English and who will help you. And also now we have maps, everything that also in English, so you will not feel uh, confused. You will not, also our metro stations are in English, uh, so don't worry about this, this issue. Okay. Any other questions, dear students? Uh, by the way, uh, yes, uh, when you travel to Moscow, you will uh, buy uh, insurance, uh, medical medical insurance. Uh, this is a must. This will be included, this point is included also into your um, contract with uh, Moscow State University. We offer several uh, medical insurance companies you get insurance policy. Why is it important? Because we want you to be uh, confident. 
we are staying in Russia and we want your parents to be confident that their children are safe and they have all possibilities to get the help in case of need. So this is about medical insurance stuff. But in case if you want to come with your insurance, with your own insurance policy, please make sure that they cover your stay in Russia, okay? Other than that, I can say that our insurance policies are cheaper than the ones that are in Europe or in USA, uh, but still we require that you have it. Any placement job opportunities or job assistance provided by MSO? Well, these questions, the account, these questions are very good, but we have already talked about this. Anyhow, I will repeat that uh, every year, several times per year, Moscow State University, starting from this year, make a, um, a meetings, so-called professional career development day, when our international students meet with the company representatives and they help them with the interview questions, they explain them the job vacancies, requirements, uh, or they uh, select students for the internships. So there is no any direct uh, placement as it is, for example, as it was in uh, USSR time, but uh, university is trying to help you to prepare your resume according to the company requirements, to pass the interview according to the company requirements. Also, you can meet with the HRs, company HRs, and ask them questions how to pass interview so that to get a job, yes. Uh, Did I answer your question, Kant? Hello, Kant, did I answer your question? Okay, welcome, welcome. Any other questions, dear students? So if we, you do not have questions, uh, what is the fee for, okay, what is the fee? Now I will uh, write, I will write in the chat and I will uh, explain the fee. So uh, uh, for master of science in global economics, and uh, e so for master of science uh in global economics and finance, annual tuition fee will be 460,000 rubles. We didn't change it from the last year. And I hope that nothing will happen and we will not change. But as for now, I have this information that it will be 460,000 rubles and it will have to be paid in two installments at the end of, uh, at the beginning of the first semester and beginning of the second semester, yes? And so on at the beginning of the third semester and beginning from the fourth semester. So this is annual tuition fee. As for the dual degree, dual degree, yes, this is for a one year, annual one, yes, 460,000 for dual degree, degree program, economics and finance. Uh, it is fixed in euros. In euro, it is seven thousand euros. It is in euro seven equivalent equivalent of seven thousand euro. Last year it was five hundred ninety thousand. Well, so last year, last year it was. 590,000 rubles. So this year, the accounting department will uh, calculate yes. and inform you. So it's fixed in euros. Yes, please, any other question? And again, this is annual fee to be paid in two installments.
Any other questions, please? So dear students, uh, if you have no questions, you have my emails, my WhatsApp, and uh, you are always welcome to write me. Now I have a question. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Nitish. Uh, uh, now uh, Kant is asking if we have other programs. Uh, dear Kant, uh, we have other programs offering, but uh, the teaching is in Russian. I mean, uh, in economics field, teaching in Russian. Uh, in economics and finance, English language programs, only these ones, these two programs that Moscow State University offers. You may find maybe um, also programs in English in business, uh, international business and strategy program. Yes, yeah, so you can uh, check this program link. I, I guess it, you can find it also on the landing page. Uh, I think they had an interactive session at one o'clock, and we did at two o'clock, so they do not. Uh, I was doing it. So, uh, any other questions, students? Yeah, professors, you, you already mentioned the two degree program economics and finance. Uh, so, how to get into the two degree? Uh, I just need to, uh, I just need to take the uh, teacher's exam of economics and, and then I apply for uh, myself. Yes, yes, when you will be uploading your document in the website, webanketa.ru, there will be a list of programs where you can select and you can select uh, the programs where you want to apply. Uh, okay. So I or also just need to take the interest uh, exams about the yes. economics. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other questions, dear students? The the applicant, but I hope he will become our student. Yes. Thank you, Nitish. Thank you very much for your nice words. Thank you. You are always welcome. And other questions? No? Okay. Then, if you have no questions, I was very happy to meet you. Uh, you are always welcome to write me. Uh, don't worry. We are here to help you. Don't be panicking. We are here. We are very happy to see you and happy to get uh, your answer, uh, your questions. Uh, sometimes it might be a bit late in my answer. I might be late in my answer, but don't worry. I will I'll always be happy to help you and I will help you with everything you need to get admission in case if you want to study here. Okay. So. I wish you a very nice rest of the day. If it is evening, then enjoy your evening with your relatives, your friends. And if it is a day, continue a very nice day. I wish you a very successful day. Okay. And see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. Okay. Looking forward to it. Have a great evening. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome, welcome, very welcome. Welcome.
Okay, Tom, so I guess our guests are not mm -hmm. in the room. No, I think they are not in the room. Okay, thank you very much for participation. Okay, thank you too. Okay, you stay in touch. I will send you the link, okay? The link okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye. Yeah, bye.